Hello everyone, my name is Pixorifs and welcome back to Empire's SMP. I hope you guys are having a good day. We're back here in Pixandria. We have the vigil slightly updated. We got a few more people's... Uh, huh. <laughs> I see a thinly veiled threat has occurred. We, <laughs> we have a few clusters of candles here, which... Uh, has somebody taken these from my candle stall? I set up a little house in between episodes. I just decided to build out a little bit more of this, and no, they've actually given me the candles instead of using my own stock. Well, I appreciate it. I'll be dying... Yeah, I will be needing these, because these are the ones that you can dye any old colour. So I'm going to be needing a lot of these for people's deaths on the server, not necessarily just... Just my own, although I guess that does seem to be <laughs> the implication here. Well, I think last episode's heist went off pretty well. I did <laughs> end up streaming and Mythical Sausage died to witches a couple of times. Do yourselves a favor and go and check out his episode from the server because, oh boy, <laughs> that was that was a lot of fun to watch. But uh, yeah, we do still, still seem to be leading Mythical Sausage a merry dance for now, and the villager's location is still a little bit secret. And I certainly have my fair share of glass now, which is very nice, but that was not the end of my dealings with those villagers, because Pearlescent Moon mentioned that she needed some books, she needs some mending and some maybe some silk touch books, and as it happened, I had the librarians to do that. So <laughs> I'm going to show you guys a little clip of myself and Pearl meeting up and figuring out an arrangement for some uh, under the table books. I'm coming, I'm coming from the direction you wouldn't expect, to be <laughs> Just, honest. Uh, above, right now, I feel like is the... Uh, above. <laughs> I have, you know what, I have a light and I want <laughs> <laughs> Of course, of course you did. Oh. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? Hi, there you are. Yeah, there's <laughs> I, the, the, last, the last place I expect... Your base is like that way, how did you... <laughs> uh, no, I told you, I went for a big loop. I went all the way around and then I came in. This is looking fantastic. Oh, way, thank you so saying. much. Oh, it means a lot. Yeah, I, I've been, been <sighs> working on this place little by little. I've got paths going in now and... Um, it's gorgeous. Oh, uh, while, while you're here and while we're actually right what? here in, in front of the vigil, um, I wanted to ask how many times you've died. Uh, hold on. Hold, hold that thought. Let me, let me have a look. <laughs> I have died yeah. 10 times. 10. Wow. Okay. You're, you're almost. A... <laughs> I, I'm great. I'm great at this living thing. I you're, don't know if you realize. I think you're up there. You're up there with Joel. Joel has died 12 times at least. And that's mostly just to, to get his own head for stuff, apparently. <laughs> so, oh, uh, yeah. Uh... Yeah. So the all, all of these, um, <laughs> these different color candles around this monument represent how many times people have died on the server so far. Uh, so the Ooh. the regular color candles is me. The magenta ones is Joel because of all the crimson wood he's using for his roofs and stuff. And okay. uh, I've been slowly like adding up all of the deaths that people have had. And the audience is helping me a little bit with like letting me know when somebody dies on camera or on a stream or something. Um, and mm -hmm. so there's an orange candle around the back to represent you because you've got like the kind of the farm oh, life. My little orange candles. Going on. Yeah. yeah. And, and so the, I love ca this color. the candles in the middle are all of the empires. There's 11 of them. And I need to add, mm -hmm. I guess, nine more uh, orange candles here to represent you. Um, <laughs> you but, would, yes. <laughs> but thank you for, for giving me an exact number that's super helpful because yeah keeping oh, track you're welcome. easy enough keeping track of this once wars start and stuff is going to be uh is going to be a lot <laughs> oh yeah there's going to be a lot of deaths happening in the future i'm sure yeah oh, definitely Who, who's the who's the lime candle they don't have many deaths at all by oh uh, that's joey and i just don't know how many times he's died yet because he's relatively oh. fresh on the server so i'm okay I'm, I'm waiting for reports from various people about how many times he's died i think at least twice so far but We'll, uh, okay. we'll have to see what the, what the final tally is, yeah. We have some business to discuss, right? We do, yeah, because you said you were in need of some books, and I, I happen to have recently come into possession of some librarians. Um, from, from nowhere in particular, From right? nowhere just, in particular, just, yeah. Just you, mm -hmm. di you didn't hear it from me, yes, but they're very useful to trade with. <laughs> uh, I've mostly been getting glass from them, but occasionally they, they mm -hmm. sneak me the odd book under the table. So uh, what was it you were okay. after? I need myself some mending books for the most part. Okay. And maybe like a couple of silk books would be great, but mending for the most part because right. I can't get that on the table. Perfect. So. Uh, follow me into my honey farm for absolutely no reason because uh, I have a shulker box in here that's got some uh, some mending books in it. Um, we've got I've got six mending books. Is that does that sound okay? How many do you need? That sounds honestly. That sounds like a really good start. I might have to come back at some point and maybe do some trading with some villagers in the future uh, yes. for them. <laughs> but that is a really good start because my tools are not enchanted whatsoever. So 
So I'll also just go on and mind all the forts around my portal. Of so course I don't have is. any XP that way. Yes. I don't uh, have any villages because there's no village near my near my base. So I'm kind of like a little stuck on everything. Yeah, yeah. That that sounds like a bit of a problem. And honestly, like at this point, I'm I'm fine uh, getting one over on Mythical Sausage a little bit. So uh, here we go. I have a couple of silk touch oh, wow. books in here as well, and there's six mending books for you there. So that hopefully. Oh, you're absolute champion yeah this this is this is fantastic but you know well you can't just give me all of these though for nothing i i, I thought i'd bring over some gifts yes you know? i i was mostly gonna ask for some food because honestly being uh -huh. out here in the desert like it gets a little bit old just drinking honey every time you want to eat something and i need <laughs> the honey have any water in the desert That's i mean something I'm, I'm working on expanding the river so we'll get aqueducts in and there's gonna be like a whole okay. a whole deal there's drinking water but yeah not not a whole lot else and i've been existing on on bread and honey for a little while so um i mean to be honest that's not much different from me despite me having a farming empire <laughs> right <laughs> um, oh, i got, I got big potatoes right now and they're quite tasty oh yeah i'm sure cooked i'm oh, sure they'll true. do okay yeah but uh but a, a little a little i guess arrangement we could come to is that if you start to work on a more sustainable long-term way of getting hold of some decent food i was wondering if mm -hmm. you know since mending is something that applies for the rest of the server as long as you can keep your gear i was wondering if maybe mm -hmm we can work out some arrangement where I get access to the stuff that you're farming. Not going to, like, you... turn up and kill your entire herd of a a cows or whatever. But <laughs> Yeah, I'll uh... come back and all my cows are just gone one day. It's like, okay. <laughs> I mean, and replaced with witches for no real reason. Um, oh. but, but no, no, If I mean, if, if we if we want to work out a, uh, a nice little arrangement where I can just swing by the farm every so often and grab some food, that'd be really great. Honestly, absolutely. I think it's it's a really good idea for me to actually make a redstone farm and, and get some food going that way. And hopefully if I get some villagers, I can get some master farmer villagers that will supply a nice supply of like golden carrots. Oh, so yeah. that'll be really good. Yeah. But you know what? I have a start of assortment of food for you. Oh, lovely. It's, <laughs> it might be a bit of a mixed bag, but it might keep you going for a little bit and a little bit tastier than just honey and bread. I mean, a varied also... diet is what I'm after right, right now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and we <laughs> so one singular rabbit. It it uh, may not have died on the way here. Yes, the it's, the desert is is full of them. <laughs> I I cannot wait for them to introduce bundles because there's actually going to be a reason for all of these rabbits around here. But uh, an no, endless stock. Yes, but so. no, that is that is absolutely perfect. Thank you so much. That's going to keep me going for quite a while. Oh, I think. God. There's there's some bonus potatoes. Oh, bonus potatoes, always <laughs> welcome. Yes. <laughs> Yes, love that, love that spud. So um, yeah, thank you so much. And let me know once you get your your redstone stuff set up. I may be able to sneak you a couple of villagers as well if you want to work Ooh, on some farmers. Yes. And if we can get, get some golden carrots into circulation, I think we'll all be a lot happier. I'll sneak a couple of villagers over under cover of night, and uh, yeah, we'll see how we go, how we get on. <laughs> totally not owned by anybody else. Oh no, not not at right? all, not at all. T p perfectly like free agents is what I'm what I'm <laughs> after here more than anything, right? Well, thank you so much. This is going to go a long way for me. And no sooner had Pearlescent Moon left the kingdom than this guy showed up. A wandering trader just popped up outside the vigil and he has the small drip leaf trade. At last, small drip leaf will be mine. But unfortunately, <laughs> it turns out that in my haste to trade all of my emeralds for mending books for pearl and glass for myself, I have actually run out of emeralds. I don't have any emeralds left in here. I don't think I have any left in my chests around here either. And this guy needs to be traded with. And so I think I'm going to have to do it because I'm not entirely certain if the wandering trader is going to be persistent and stick around. I am going to have to make the ultimate sacrifice and will fortune some of my beloved emerald ore. Oh, it hurts to do, but we get two emeralds, which means we can get hold of at least four small drip leaf. As long as we at least have some drip leaf, which, oh, that's so good. So good that we have small drip leaf now. I'm going to trek over to one of the nearby villages, do a quick bit of trading and come back. If the guy hasn't despawned, we can trade a few more emeralds, but it was enough to get us small drip leaf in some quantity, at least. Four small drip leaves sat there in my ender chest. We can turn some of that into big drip leaf. I might even keep some of it for the gardens around here, but oh boy, is it nice to finally see that trade pop up from a wandering trader. It also occurred to me that pillager outposts sometimes have emeralds in the loot chests up here, and I hadn't raided this one yet, but nope, looks like it is just a bunch of dark oak logs and a bit of string, which I guess we could turn into some candles for the vigil. Oh well, time to get out of here and trade with my other villagers. Okay, oh, he's still here, okay. Okay, and we have a few more emeralds, which, 
Yeah, he's only going to take three more of those. But ten! Ten small drip leaf! I've never felt so rich in all my life! <laughs> it's incredible! So happy the wandering trader decided to swing by. There we go! Ten small drip leaf, which we can of course turn into some large drip leaf if we want to. Fantastic! Thank you so much, wandering trader. So happy you stopped by. And you know what? I think this one can live. So now that I finally have some small drip leaf, I was thinking we need to put together a little drip leaf garden somewhere around here. With both the small and the large drip leaf, I'm hoping that the wandering trader comes back through with a little bit more so I can use it more liberally in the gardens around here. But hopefully we should be able to get a little bit of it to sprinkle in. The main thing I want to work on next for the Kingdom of Pixandria is a storage room, to be frank with you, because I have so much stuff just left left lying around inside of here and people keep asking me when I'm gonna do the interior and the answer honestly is when I can figure out a place to put all of the stuff I've been acquiring. It's all in random miscellaneous chests like I don't even know what the system is here anymore and we have some shulker boxes that are just languishing on the floor. Their contents could be put back into a storage system for a little bit of better use. So I'm going to get on with that I think but in the meantime I have a meeting to show you with Solidarity Gaming. Jimmy over in the swamp was interested in hiring my services as a bit of a builder because he's been building himself an empire but he needed something a little bit more showy. Hello! He Hello up there! <laughs> I'm coming down. I was I was seeing how close you could get before you could hear me. <laughs> it's how you doing? I'm not I'm not used to the the radius that we can chat at at this point. I know. It's... I actually I I still don't know how like how many blocks it is. I'm not too I'm not too sure at the moment. How you doing? You good? Yeah, not bad. Not bad. It's it's been a lovely swim over here. My my dolphin taxi kind of ditched me halfway through, so I had to oh, swim the rest of the way. <laughs> I was I was trying to make a big grand entrance, and it turned out to be a little bit less dramatic oh. than I was hoping. But uh, oh, no. I I got to I got very familiar with the ocean around here. It's a it's a lovely spot. You've got a little it fishing is. dock over there. You've got yeah. Uh, I've literally got so many people on my um on my shoreline as well. I've got. Literally, Lizzie right there. I've got Joel on the opposite side of that. Um, and then who? Oh, yeah, we've got Sausage literally right over here on the right side as well. I'm, yeah. I'm quite close to everybody. You caught in the crossfire a little bit, I yeah, think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been, I've been caught in the crossfire already. I've heard you've had some problems with uh, Sausage as well. Yeah, yeah. A few pillagers turned up in my base apropos of nothing in particular, led by yeah. one one mythical yeah. Sausage. He seems to have, like, military pretensions, and I'm, I'm slightly worried about it, to be honest. Yeah, well... Look to your right, and uh, I think you could spot someone else who who popped up <laughs> out of out of nowhere. This man came along, and I'm I'm leaving him there because if I can one day, you know, strategically get the buff and then run into someone's, then I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. But he just popped out of nowhere, so I'm pretty sure that might have been sausage as well. But um, I, I can't be certain. Yeah, well, I I have some plans for for stuff we can do with raids and messing with people a little bit later. I might might have done a little bit of that already. If you have any plans with sausage, I'm I'm in. Just all right. you can call on me. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I, I'm all in for it. But I have got a job for you if yes. you're if you're up for it. So this spot here, it's actually a really nice like circular spot, right? Right. Literally in the middle of this, uh, in this little lit lake here. Mm. I really, really, really want a giant cod statue. Right. Like a, a big boy. And it and it is a perfect space here because it's all circular. And I, I think something could be really, really cool. A big statue in the middle of that would look really good. How big are we talking? Just out of curiosity, are we talking like, you know, 10, 20, 30 blocks? Are we talking the entire size of the thing? Is there room um, for a pedestal? Like, what what kind of thing do we want? I've I've kind of joined up like all the lakes around here, so I want to be able to still swim around it and go out that way. You can all see right. it like on the other side. Right. So I still want to be able to swim around it. Yeah. So we're we thinking like a cod sort of leaping majestically out of the water. That kind of. Oh. That 100%. kind of. One hundred percent. Yeah. Uh -huh. I want it to look majestic. Like when someone comes along, they go, "Wow, you know that guy must be powerful." You know, I yeah, want, yeah, I want absolutely. That response. It's it's a statement of purpose. It's a uh, you know a show of wealth. I can yeah, yeah yeah I can see that working out pretty well. Yeah. yeah. Do you reckon you could be able to do the job? I think so. I think so. We can probably do it justice. There's a lot of cod swimming around in here, which is definitely going to give is. me some some inspiration for sure. Yeah yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. What would you want in return for this? What is there anything on your mind? Oh, um, I have got a slime farm coming very soon. Yeah. Yeah, slime was probably the number one thing, but honestly, since you're in a swamp, you've got pretty easy access to clay, 
And as mm-hmm, as mm-hmm. somebody who's just come into possession of some small drip leaf, um, one of the only blocks you can put it on is clay. So I'm kind of thinking like uh, maybe a couple of stacks of clay just so I can Dude, you, dot it around yeah. the gardens in my empire. Mm-hmm. Right. I'll I'll I will get on that. That'll be the that'll be the trade over. As soon as you're done with this, I'll drop some stacks of clay round. That would be a. Uh, that would be wonderful. How many? How how long do you reckon this will take you? Oh, I can get it done by the end of the week, like easily. Oh, I, I, I've, amazing! I've got some uh, got some plans uh, brewing with a few other people, but I think yeah, I should be able to uh, to get it okay. done done in time for let's say Friday. Yeah, dude, that that sounds great. Um, uh, on a side note as well, um, we are we're doing this nice little trade, doing all this good stuff. We kind of had a have a a dislike to a certain person over, <laughs> over that side as well. Um, would you like to set up an alliance? I, I'm thinking it might be pretty good strategically for the two of us because you've got you've got cod, and if you turn around mm-hmm. the the D in cod, it turns into a P, and I'm thinking that kind of looks like copper, and so it's like cod and copper kind of go together. A little I bit. like it. I don't know. I I'm, like it. <laughs> I like I, it. I'll have to put some kind of graphic on the screen so I can explain yeah. what on earth I'm doing with this, but yeah. <laughs> Um, I, th- I think it, it it sort of works out. So yeah, I feel like I feel like an alliance seems good. We are we are basically neighbors. So I feel like you got to yeah. got to be on good terms with your neighbors, except for you know. Yeah, over there. <laughs> you, you're in that. Wait, which direction are you in? I'm basically in that, that way, like towards your tower and yeah, like yeah, yeah. about yeah. about another five hundred blocks that way. I think. Um, another question: How many levels are you on? Uh, I got forty three right now. Oh gosh. Uh, so basically, <laughs> I. I do a little initiation for my alliances. Right. Um, but I feel really bad <laughs> because I need your head, basically, yeah. as a symbol. But I don't want you to waste 43 levels. So maybe we set it up for another time when you've not got that many. Yeah. And I have kind of put myself in charge of keeping track of how often people die on this server. So, um, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I kind of don't want to add any more candles to my part of the monument yeah. right now. <laughs> All right. Okay. So it's kind of like a, it's an alliance vocally, but it's not set in stone. All right. right? Not yeah. yet. Yeah. Still, That's still fine. Un- under negotiation and uh, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll get the, the proper contract written up yeah. in, <laughs> in, in whoever's blood is available, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can do that. All right, that sounds perfect then. Okay. All right, so uh, All right. Cod, cod statue by the end of the week then, and mm-hmm. uh, then you'll right. drop off a little bit of clay once I'm done with yeah. that. All right, All right fantastic. perfect. I'm going right. to try and uh, hitch a ride on another dolphin and get back to uh, right. building stuff for my empire. <laughs> All right, catch you in a bit. So I'm really excited about this statue idea. I think we can really do the cod justice. But first of all, I need to go and get hold of some supplies. So I'm going to go out mining, going to go looking around some of the caves around the desert and a little bit further afield to see if we can pick up some supplies because the palette I'm trying to work with for this cod build is actually something pretty special.
Folks, I cannot stress enough how happy I am with this build. I think it came together so well. This is my first time really building anything like with an organic shape like this. And I did a couple of drafts in a creative test world that were a little bit smaller. So I'm really happy with the way it sized up a little bit. And yes, I know the color scheme is a little bit different from a COD, but here's what I'm thinking, right? It's a symbol of the alliance between myself and the COD empire. I had to introduce some copper into it and I think the copper build palette is just so nice for working with fish scales and stuff like this so hopefully Jimmy sees this for the cod that it truly is and just to kind of give a bit of context for this I'm going to put a sign on the bridge almost like one of those plaques you would see in front of like a historic monument out in the park somewhere there we go the copper cod built by the cod father's ally Pixandria and we're going to make that orange text which looks absolutely awful on an oak sign but there we go, a lot more readable once we add the glow ink. And I got loads of glow ink basically on the boat trip between here and my kingdom. And just look at this image. I genuinely think, I mean, the squid is dying in happiness, I guess, uh, at how, <laughs> how excellent this looks. I really think this is quite a spectacular statue and hopefully Jimmy feels the same. In fact, I'm so confident he's gonna like this that I'm probably gonna add it to his map right here. I should be able to load it in. Yeah, there we go. And doesn't that just look like a fish when it appears on the map like that just coming out of the water oh that's so good that looks really really nice and i love the splash of water that i added with the glass actually appears on the map as though the fish is splashing out of the lake oh just as i start recording my next segment whip is fighting the wither <laughs> so we're about to hear <laughs> we're about to hear some sound effects in a second here but um yep there it is <laughs> all right well doom apparently is incoming Good luck. <laughs> so what that ominous sound has just interrupted is me introducing my new storage house. And I should probably sleep for the night before I give you the tour, but right now there honestly isn't a whole lot to see. As you can see, the interior of this thing is pretty much vacant and we can watch the sun set through the open door on the other side. Well, he says one down, one to go. So I think he's <laughs> doing all right with the first one, it sounds like. So I'm going with a bit of a hanging gardens vibe for this one. It was a pretty obvious choice after how lush the desert environment is here. The bamboo will probably need to be cut down to size and kept there with string, but honestly, I like how this is turning out so far. Needs a few more accent colors on the corners, I think, but I'm quite happy with the way the gateways on each side have come together. We've got a little copper formation above each doorway that kind of mimics what I'm doing with the pylons over there by the river. I'm still not quite certain what kind of light source I want in each of those. I tried a sea lantern, and I might need to go and trade with the Ocean Queen for a few more sea lanterns because I like the way that looks. It wasn't going to be a conduit each time because conduits are kind of too expensive and I need them for other things. Plus, I don't really have a reliable supply of Nautilus shells right now, but that... I think is looking quite good and inside here my plans are to cut out the floor and install a automated storage system basically in a basement level so we can have storage for bulk resources and a staircase down so that we can access all of that stuff and maybe something that we can just pop in at the entrance here unload shulker boxes throw my inventory in there if it's got some stuff that can be automatically sorted. And I'm thinking, obviously, sand is going to be a bulk resource, maybe sandstone as well, and a few more things like the, the woods, the stones, the rest of the stuff that we're going to be getting in larger quantities. And then at the ground level, as you come in, probably manual storage for everything else. But it's going to feel so good to move everything in there after all of the stuff that... Oh, yep, there's the second wither. <laughs> all of the stuff that's just been lying around in my starter build the entire time. But before we go, I just have one more thing to look at because this shulker box has appeared and that's a message that you love to see. I have been forgiven by the Amethyst Empire and I don't know when this shulker box turned up. It seems to have arrived entirely by magic because I've been on the server all day. Gemini Tay, as far as I can tell, wasn't even around. So maybe she has found some magical way of delivering this to me. But oh my goodness, look at this. What riches she has delivered. We have our own set of elytra after I gave mine away because I felt so bad for killing Gem twice in the ridiculous end heist disaster. We have two emerald ores and two amethyst clusters. These look so pretty. You can fortune these to get some amethyst shards, but silk touching them gets you the amethyst clusters themselves. We'll have to put those in a really important place. A little bit of gold to sweeten the deal and some firework rockets as well. Thank you so much, amethyst 
Fascist Empire. I am so happy to have Gemini Tay's forgiveness, and we even got a spare shulker box out of the deal as well. And no traps or anything, which makes me even happier. Well, folks, we're going to end this episode on a high note there, I think. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Empire's SMP. My name has been Pixel Riffs. Don't forget to leave a like on this episode if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye for now.